name is Jonathan Veach, and I am the president of Occidental College, and I'd like to welcome you to Los Angeles and to our campus today for this public li listening se session on America's Great Outdoors. We are pleased to have with us Lisa Jackson, Administrator of the Environmental Protection Agency, Ken Salazar, Secretary of the Department of the Interior, Nancy Sutley, Chair of the White House Council on Environmental Quality, Harris Sherman, Undersecretary for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Joellen Darcy, Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works. So why do we think Los Angeles is such a good place to provide feedback on America's Great Outdoors initiative? Los Angeles has a reputation as one of the most environmentally challenged cities in the nation the capital of sprawl, the city where everybody drives and nobody walks. But Los Angeles is also a great city of imagination, a land of magical improvisation, as the great writer Kerry McWilliams once put it. As one of the very sm few small liberal arts colleges in America located in the world's mega cities, Occidental is the perfect place to host an event that brings together urban life and the great outdoors. Much of what President Obama campaigned on, uh, much of what they want to do around the country, whether it's moving to alternative uh, energy sources, uh, cleaning up our ports, uh, recycling and uh, expanding efforts around conservation, we're doing here. President Obama has asked me and my colleagues here to travel the country and meet with local residents to talk about how we can serve and protect our great outdoors in this, the 21st century. The fact that uh, President Barack Obama spent his first two years here, we were trying to check on his transcript a little earlier, but uh, it tells you that uh, anything is possible uh, because here was a young man, I spent time with him last year as we went around some of our uh, great outdoors uh, and to think about his discovery of, of America, he was not born to be president. Nobody gave it to him. He didn't come from regal power. He wasn't an aristocrat. He didn't know his father. He was, and yet, he is now president of the United States. So thank you, Occidental, for having played a great part in his life. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do now is um, take some comments from the floor um, based on what we heard. One thing that's really working well is that we've been able to designate millions of acres of new wilderness around uh, the state of California. Our beautiful Mojave Desert and our Sonoran Desert should not become a parking lot for solar panels and wind development and geothermal. The message needs to be shared so that more people under 30 and more minorities will become aware of national parks and make the choice to visit. My name is April Wakeman. I'm with the Sport Fishing Conservancy. We're recreational fishermen. We're finding that our outdoors available to outdoor enthusiasts are shrinking. We're gonna break out into smaller, smaller sessions so we can continue the conversation, so you continue to raise your issues, um, come up with solutions, have one-on-ones with senior officials.